it's not just me tone and it's not just in the house, right? I have ruined multiple moments in my life by just saying the wrong thing, right? I was genuinely almost very nearly a Hollywood movie star. Very nearly. That laugh hurt, madam. That hurt. That hurt. <laughs> no need for that at all. all. Right? Ten years ago, I genuinely had an audition for the Hollywood movie War Horse. Yeah? Me. This fella. Yeah? Genuinely, it should have been a slam dunk, because the part I auditioned for was actually called Lad from South Shields. <laughs> stupid would a lad from South Shields have to be to fuck that up? <laughs> You're about to find out. <laughs> First audition I've ever had, I walked into this big posh casting agency in London, I walked in, the lady running was very posh, very cool, but she was on it, she was like, there is your script, come and sit down here in front of this camera, we will turn the camera on in a moment, learn your lines, and we will do the audition. And I'm nervous and I'm panicking. And this is, you know when you're just from different worlds to someone else? I was just from a different world to her. And this is how out of my comfort zone I was. I was sitting there, and I'm looking past the camera, and on the table, it was the first time in my life I'd ever seen a jug of water with cucumbers in it. <laughs> Have you seen this? I'd never seen it, I was more, I didn't know what was going on, I was just staring at it like that. Ah. And she caught us looking and she went, oh, oh, um, would you like some of my cucumber water? <laughs> no? Like, I thought she was just washing her cucumbers. Like, at work as well? How busy are you? Like, it just seemed a weird thing to offer someone, like, no, I don't want a cup of your sad salad broth. Like, with a glass of me bath water, like. But I managed to hold it together through that, but it did freak us out, and this is where it all went wrong, right? She said, start making small talk, because I'm a slow reader, and she's going, it's been, it's been manic today, it's been manic. We have only just today secured our big name Hollywood director for the movie. Obviously, I said, oh, well, it's a secret, I can, can you tell me who it is, yeah? This is where it all went wrong. I guarantee, if any one of you in this room was in her position when I replied with what I did, it would be fine. You get us, you know who I am, you're on my wavelength, it would be okay, I'd probably be in that movie now. What you're about to hear is the reason I am not. <laughs> she said, Steven Spielberg. And I said, fuck off. <laughs> I wish that wasn't true. I wish that wasn't true. She didn't even turn that camera on when that interview started. I fudged up a line and went, should I do that again? She went, no, it's fine. 